Okay, guys, welcome back once again to DJ Pablo TV. I'm your host, Paul, aka DJ Pablo, and I'm still following up on my video from yesterday, guys. And what I'm about to say right now is this is really for the people who are still in like North Carolina in the evacuation zone, the areas that they were told to leave and didn't leave. I know a lot of people probably didn't go anywhere, they stayed home and like, we're gonna ride it out. So the least I can do for you guys, I know a lot of you guys are gonna be on social media. After a while, you might lose power and all you're gonna have is your cell phone. So the least I can do for you guys is give you an idea of what to expect. See you know what I'm saying? Now, being a resident of Florida, plus I'm a Jamaican, so I've been through so many hurricanes. I know what the eye of a hurricane looks like. I've been inside an eye. It is the most calm and most peaceful environment you'll ever see until the wind starts reversing from the opposite direction and then you are going to be freaked out just seeing rain go sideways so what i'm saying but what i want to do for you guys just to kind of like provide some comfort the first thing you're going to be experiencing is you might get a bunch of tornado warnings for one expect your phone to be going off emergency signals will be coming in and out like crazy so it is gonna annoy the hell out of you guys. It might get you even scared. So I'm saying because a tornado is nothing to play with. It is even worse than a hurricane itself. Then guys, as far as I'm seeing here, you guys are probably gonna get hit in the dark. And God forbid if the power goes out and you have to endure it in the darkness. I just wanna let people know, do not use candles. If you're in a house, the power goes out, make sure you got a flashlight. If you don't, you better figure out how to get one quick. Do not use a candle. You will catch the house on fire, so I'm saying. Don't use any candles whatsoever. Make sure you use a flashlight if you have to, or you got something else to use. Do not use a candle at all. Now, the next thing is the sound, guys. You're in the dark. And I remember being in Hurricane ha Ivan back in Jamaica. I was in a house by myself. The house was leaking, guys. We had multiple cracks. The house is made of concrete. It's kind of like a bunker, it's strong as hell, but it was leaking and I was wiping water, mopping up water. I had to stuff, I used to take shopping bags and stuff the creasings of the door, the tiny space between the door. You wouldn't believe how much water can come in through that. If the rain can hit the door, it will actually spray water inside. Through the actual door itself, you would believe that the door is not there to where water is gonna come in from the top, the sides. I used to stuff plastic bags in every section of the door, literally cutting off air from getting in, just to kind of keep some of the water out because the rain was hitting the door and water was coming in. It was flooding me out from inside. So I was to kind of minimize how much water I have to wipe out because I was getting a bunch of leaks and water was running in and out the house. But it wasn't enough to draw me, it was just wetting the floor. Up. And I already prepared for that move. Anything that would get damaged, I would have, I've already moved them out the way, so. It's gonna be crazy, guys. The sound that you're gonna hear is, it's like nothing you've ever heard before. This is your first time going through a hurricane. The sound of it is gonna be very scary. When you hear it, it will sound like a beast is outside, like a living animal just trying to get inside the house and just get rid of you. So I'm saying to just literally destroy you. It's got a very scary sound and it sounds like something that is alive, like a living beast. So I'm saying, no, you're gonna have to endure that for a long time because this storm's gonna stop. It's gonna be on top of you. It's gonna be there for a couple of days. So if you can't endure that sound, I don't know, you're gonna have to cover your ears or something. If you've got noise canceling headphones and you got battery that can last that long and you're probably gonna have to cover it up or I don't know what you're gonna do, man, but the sound it is not going to be easily endured audio of it because it's going to be very scary as far as the sound is concerned. See what I'm saying? So if you can't handle that, well, I don't know, you're going to have to get something to stuff your ears when the sound starts because it will be very scary as far as visual, as far as the audio is concerned. Now, you don't want to look. I, for one, did look even though I know it's not safe, guys, but then I, I in Jamaica when I went through some of that stuff, I had metal windows back home and I just went to the window and just cracked it a little bit just to see what's going on and people will get curious, don't do it, I can tell you. I've tried it a couple of times and I remember stuff hitting the window almost knocking my eye out so 
I don't recommend you guys looking. See what I'm saying? So stay in the house and listen if you can if you can deal with the audio or the sound of it. But sit inside the house, stay away from the windows. Try to be make sure you have a room that's like a central room where you can run to just in case there's a tornado or something. If there's a central room, like a room in the center part of the house, the smallest room you could possibly find, make sure you can get to it real quick if you have to, just in case there's a tornado. If not, and your windows blow in, you might have to take refuge inside that room and hope that there is not a flood. Because if there's a flood, you're gonna have to come out of that room eventually because you don't want to drown inside the house. You know what I'm saying? So that room, make sure you have a room you can run to, make sure there's a plan. All of you guys can get, if there's more than one person in the house, you have to be able to get to the room real quick, just in case. Do not go to the windows. Do not be forced to try to look. Do not try to get video of it. I know a lot of young people, you want to be online. You want to be like, yo, I got videos of the storm and stuff. Don't do it. If this is your first time and you have no idea what this is, don't try to get video to put on your Instagram, trying to prove how tough you are. You might get hurt, see what I'm saying? Try to just endure it and see if you can come out in one piece because it's not going to be pretty. And just don't get tempted to go look. So I'm saying because at the end of the day, you might get hurt. In fact, you probably will because stuff will be flying everywhere. You open a window, you're going to get hit in the face with something. So I'm saying, so don't do it. And the rest, guys, just pray, man. Just say a prayer. Say a prayer. Say a prayer. Try to get some sleep if you can. While we'll one person stand guard, while we'll one person sleep. At the end of the day, everyone can't go to bed at the same time. Someone's gonna have to take watch and you're gonna have to take turns because someone needs to be awake in case you have to run out the house. You take turns sleeping. One person have to be on guard at all times. That person will take a break, they will sleep. Somebody else is gonna have to stay up because if all of you guys go to sleep and the house starts flooding, it is gonna be a mess. So I'm saying so try to stay awake one person goes to sleep one person stay awake and you just kind of like watch over each other and just pray that's it if the water starts coming in and you can get to your roof get to your roof and hope that when you're on the roof the wind is not blowing hard because it is not going to be easy being outside with wind and rain at the same time that's what i'm saying but then it's too late now the average person cannot evacuate so you're gonna have to ride this out so this is it if you wanted the experience you're about to find out and it is what it is See what I'm saying? So, my heart goes out to everyone who's really gonna try to take this on, and this is definitely gonna be a life changer for everyone who's gonna endure this. It will change your life forever. You're gonna remember this day just like I remembered my first major hurricane in the 70s that made me learn as much as I can about hurricanes just to keep myself alive. See what I'm saying? So, all I can do now is just wish you guys good luck and see you when you make it out man all right so i'm gonna wrap this up by saying the usual peace and salute from west palm beach and i'm out here and i'll see you guys tomorrow all right peace